Hello, this is David Bradburn, and this is a presentation of Varia Ultra, the 40 cell version. It is identical to the 20 cell version in areas of functionality and features. That means it operates as a braille display or a braille note taker. It means that it can connect with up to five devices and allow you to switch easily between them. Like the 20 cell, this model is made with brushed aluminum housing, which helps make it very light as well as being very strong. It features an eight button braille keyboard. There is a 40 cell braille display, so twice as many cells as the other uh, model. There are cursor routing buttons along the top. To the left and to the right of the braille display, we have uh, some flat buttons. There are three on each side. These are display buttons and can be used among other things for navigating around a screen or navigating the display around a screen. And uh, in addition to that, there are other commands uh, that can be used with different operating systems for um, accessing other features. Below the Braille display, we have two thumb keys. In a Braille note taker mode, the thumb key on the left uh, acts as a command key. The one on the right is a spacebar. If you're using this in Braille display mode, then uh, either key can be used as a spacebar. On the left hand side of the left thumb key, we have two system buttons, S1 and S2, and to the right of the right thumb key we have system keys S3 and S4. And then finally in the middle we have the navy stick, the same as we have on the 20 cell version. This is a five-way button, uh, which means it goes up, down, left and right through vertical and horizontal lists. You can also press down on the device and use it as an enter key. Right now we're actually in the uh, note taker mode and uh, on the Braille display, we will uh, we'll always see MI for menu item. We'll then see the mnemonic, uh, in this case, W for word processor. And then we have word processor written uh, in Braille or displayed in Braille on the display. If I go uh, down the list, the Braille display, of course, changes. We next have our PDF document viewer. We then have our Excel spreadsheet viewer and so on and so forth. Anytime I am actually on an item here, so for example, word processor, if this is what I want, there are a number of ways I can get into this device, and uh, the one I'm going to use right now is just by pressing down on the navy stick. That's, again, the uh, circular button here in between the thumb keys. We already have a document that I just typed in a few random letters before. I can, in this mode, use .7 uh, on the left-hand side and backspace over those characters. Uh, and then, of course, I could start to, uh, to type something new if I wanted to. To go back to the main menu at any point, I just press and hold the S3 key, the system key to the right of the right thumb key, and I'm now back in the menu. Beyond that, the functionality of the dice, like I said, is the same as the 20 cell. That means that if I turn the device to the left-hand side, you'll see we have the same standard USB for connecting with a USB stick, the micro USB for connecting to a USB charger or to a computer. And then I have the two sliding buttons, uh, the one to switch between the Braille note taker mode and the Braille display mode. And then the other one is the device lock. So you can lock all of the keys. And then on the right hand side, we have the power button. And that concludes this overview of Vario Ultra. We certainly uh, look forward to speaking to you and answering any of your questions. You can find more information on our website at www.baumusa.com or call us toll free 855-620-7985. Thank you very much.